this is the episode where we are in most danger of needing the mercy clause because we're both going up against the fifth gym and I think I am way under leveled. Um, I think Zach is probably okay, but things are going to get bad here, more likely than not. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Star of Wisdom. And uh, I think, therefore, I am player two. Uh -huh. Right? That's how that works? <laughs> uh, I believe the, the great uh, Descartes uh, said that. <laughs> yes, yes. Welcome back. Welcome back to Philosophy Minute with, <laughs> with the two random kids on the internet. I, I feel like I should clarify that I, I know it's Descartes, but... Uh, uh, never yeah. mind. If you guys want to think I'm an idiot, that's... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I don't care. I, pl I play video games for my hobby and, and put them on yes. a YouTube. I'm not doing anything great with my life where I need to care about people's opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we were talking about the trolley prop. Yes. And... Well, actually, before before we go back to philosophy, oh, okay, okay. I was just going to mention that uh, this is the episode where we are in most danger of needing the mercy clause because we're both going up against the fifth gym, and I think I am way underleveled. Um, I think Zach is probably okay, but oh. things are going to get bad here, more likely than not. So, wait, what was so. the Mercy Clause again? Mercy Clause is if our entire team wipes, that we don't actually lose the Nuzlocke. But we still have Pokemon in the PC. Yes. Yeah. So like usually a Nuzlocke ends if your entire team gets wiped. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. Then. I guess, I guess, yeah. Our mercy clause is more specifically if you're down to literally one Pokemon and nothing in the PC. So what you're you saying going, is but... I should drop off my best Pokemon into the <laughs> PC before I fight the gym. <sighs> I think that's what I you're don't saying. Know. Pretty I don't sure. Know. I haven't decided what my strategy is here yet. It's actually I have. My strategy is to level up Jirachi a lot. And hopefully that works out. Um, so yes, we talked about the trolley problem in last episode. If you missed it, it's over on Zach's channel. So so you can check that out if you feel like it. Um But uh unless you had further points that you wanted to talk about with the trolley problem. I have another thought experiment. <laughs> this episode. Um, well, there was one variation on the trolley problem that I've heard, and that's uh, I saw it like in like some Tumblr or Pinterest post or something like that, and it's okay. um, if there are an infinite number of people on on one side of the track and there are mm -hmm. no people on the other side of the track, what like do you bother to get off your lazy butt to pull the switch? <laughs> to make it go to the track that hits nobody. And uh, I saw the greatest justification to not get up ever. And that was, if there are an infinite number of people on one side of the track, that means the trolley can hit an infinite number of people and eventually slow down, and there'd still be an <laughs> infinite number of people still alive. <laughs> so really, you don't need to get up at all. <laughs> that's like, beautiful. <laughs> Well done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my second Shelgen that I fought inside of this gym. I'm annoyed that I went up against a Spoink in the Confuse room that has Psybeam so that I'm actually getting confused. Oh. Yeah, I'm in the it's defense dumb. room, so this Shelgen is... Oh, I <laughs> crit it. Can't wait for you to use a Hyper Potion. Yeah. Alright, what, what's I your did, next I'm thing? excited... Sorry. Uh, I was just going to mention, I got Dragon Rage on Gyarados. Nice. And that is going to be helpful in a pinch. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yes, the next thought experiment is uh, the Experience Machine. And I don't know if you're familiar with this one. Uh, um, I've heard of it. You might need a refresh. But I, either way, I will yeah. explain it for... Yeah for viewers who yeah yeah you know you know i i get it you, maybe you should uh, talk about it for the viewers <laughs> yeah yeah just so they know just so they're on the same page so the experience machine is basically the premise of this thought experiment is essentially that 
considering let's let's assume that a machine exists that is essentially a very very advanced virtual reality machine um which before going into the experience machine you can input what you want to experience like you can say i want to live a life where i become an architect and i become famous for designing buildings and and then that and then you go into the machine and you you live that life um you don't have any knowledge as you are in the machine that you're in a machine Mm -hmm. um so like you go through and you experience that as though it's just happening randomly but you actually chose before going into the machine that that is what would happen Uh, like you you input all of the parameters that are going to happen and they all happen exactly like that um and then the question becomes I guess, first of all, whether or not you would use the experience machine or what the conditions are in which you would use the experience machine. And then on top of that, um, is that meaningful? Like, is it meaningful to live a life in a machine where you have basically said, this is what I want my life to be? And it just happens that way. Right. Uh, um, well, so there there are two points of view that I can provide. One is the Christian point of view, which is you're not uh-huh. living the life that God, you know, said. I'm not trying to preach to anybody. I'm just telling you. Uh-huh. Like, from a religious point of view, it doesn't have to be Christian. You are not living the life that the universe or the God or God or the gods set out for you, set yeah. up for you. Um, from yeah. like a personal thing, um... I don't know. I think experience is experience, and if if yeah. it's if it's constructed um, by you or it's constructed by the environment around you, I, I don't think that's very different. I think as long as you are living to some extent, you're you're living. I mean, if if you're in a coma and but you're you're dreaming that entire time, I, I would say you're still living. You know. Uh huh. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you on this idea of like experience is experience. Um, cause this even relates to like the premise of sword art online yes. where a whole bunch of people get stuck in a video game. And like, the question is, are they actually still living or is it all fake because they're in a virtual environment for that entire time? And uh, the whole time that they're living and doing things in this game world their bodies are just sitting somewhere in, in reality quote-unquote reality no. um so yeah i i am personally of the opinion that experience is experience and if you are you know stuck in a position like that then then yes you are experiencing it and even if you come out of the machine and then realize that i, I guess that's where the question gets interesting is if you never come out of the machine and you live that entire life in the machine and then you die and then that's when your body dies in reality as well, like, you would never know that this was a predetermined track that you designed for yourself. Mm-hmm. And from your own perspective within the machine, you just you just lived the life that happened. And, and that's just, that's that. And I think that that's experience. And in that case... I think it is meaningful because from your own perception of the way that events played out, they just, they played out the same way that we currently perceive them to be playing out in reality. I think it's different if at the end of all of that, you step out of the experience machine and you remember then, oh, right, this was all just a pre-constructed thing that I created for myself. And I suppose you, you still get to have the experiences with you, but... I wonder if it's somehow lessened by the knowledge that it was, it was like, it was going to happen that way no matter what. Because you could think about, like, what if the experience that you say that you want to live out in the experience machine is like, I'm a daredevil and I take all these risks and I never die and I become famous for it. And then you step out of the experience machine and they're like, you realize that there was literally never any risk because part of the parameters were that you would just be fine the entire time. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Um, 
I am. Uh, I, I wanted to say before we got into that that I'm probably going to die this episode. I did yeah. this specifically <laughs> so that there'd be something interesting. Like, re- like the content or the content that we speak of is is fine. Um, uh huh. Oh no. No 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 no! Please stop. Okay. Does um, the one hit KO, KO room still turn into a one hit KO room? No. Okay. Because I'm a little bit scared about that room. Um. So. Oh, yeah. God, here's the here's the problem. Are you fighting the leader right now? Yeah. It. What are you at his uh slacking replacement? No, no. He started out with a uh, skip plume that just... I, I screwed up. I pressed A too quickly, and so I missed my fake out. And from there, it's just been downhill. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know what to do, because the Pokemon that I whirlwind on out uh, was a Fero. So... Kind of in mm. a pickle. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know what to do. I think I just kind of lose. I didn't hear what the first Pokemon was. Oh, glad I didn't switch out. Not that I was planning on it, ah. but... I wish I had Hyper Potions. That would be neat. Have yeah, you... Uh, I think... No, you haven't started the gym yet. No, I, I'm going through the trainers. Right. Um, well, right. That's not, a, leader, not the yeah. gym leader. Yeah. Um, oh, I've got soda yeah. pops. That's slightly more helpful. Okay. Um, yeah. In terms of what you were saying, I, I I agree with what you were saying. Yeah. Um, no, a... I think it, that would be definitely a better question to come back to once we're not both fighting for our lives <laughs> against this gym leader. <laughs> okay. Well, so. I, I guess the question is 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 do we do we attribute experience with accomplishment or and and failure? So like, mm-hmm. if I put in my dream experience machine that my dad finally comes home, um, do I get that sense of accomplishment and, and reward that the uh, he he actually did come home, or is it just empty? And by the way, my, uh-huh. my dad, that that's just a joke. My dad uh, lives, yeah. I, I live with my dad. He's, he's great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did my dad actually get cigarettes and it's just taken him a long time to get back home? Like, who's to say? <laughs> um, yeah, and I think like you yourself will feel that sense of accomplishment, but in reality, it, it, you never really you didn't actually affect the outside world and so i guess is accomplishment and failure um more having to do with what happens to you or how uh, actions that happen to you affect the outside world yes yeah that's definitely what it comes down to and i guess what what the answer is is that you're really just a waste of space because you're not actually contributing anything to society and the fact of the matter is like you can look at why are, why is human life important at all. It's not because mm-hmm. you know human life is you know inherently sacred. It, it it isn't. We're we're just like inherently we're worth just as much as any other living thing on this planet. Right. Um, right. We're just here. Yeah, we're just here. <laughs> I mean, we're ultimately we're no different than you know the hundreds of people that hundreds the millions upon billions of people that have come before us. And, um, yeah, so what, what's worth anything is how we can help each other and how we can progress human society and the human race. And so like, if you're not Mm -hmm. actually contributing to that, you're not actually someone who, who, who should, who should be around, you know? Yeah. That's an interesting way of looking at it for sure. (laughs) You know, the the psychopathic way of looking at it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, I, I, I was, I was definitely tracking with you for the whole part of like, uh, if, if you are going into the experience machine, it doesn't really matter what you would have been doing in reality because there are so many people. Like, 
Okay. It doesn't matter that you're necessarily not in reality as far as it relates to yourself, I guess. I did not Which want is... that. And anyway, it. It, it's it's a very complicated question, and there's all kinds of different contexts in which you could say that, yes, I would go into the experience machine and use it, or no, I would not do it. Right. But it's it's definitely interesting to think about. Oh, okay, I definitely need to focus more on the gym now. Sure. Uh, it just immediately switched back to uh, the skip plume, which is obnoxious. Alright, we'll use this time to heal so, up then. You still haven't seen their uh, slacking replacement yet? I think it's the Firo. It, cause that oh, was, it's a Firo? Yeah, I think that was level 29. 29 is the... Right? The slacking. Oh. I think. Well, I thought the slacking was level 30-something. Oh, good. I haven't even seen it yet. Well, we're about to. Oh, good. You stunned. Oh, good. It missed. All right. Whirlwind, not into the Firo, please. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Pretty sure Zach and I lost each other, so we can't hear each other right now. <laughs> no, I can hear you, Jupiter. Oh, I can hear you again now. No, I haven't been talking. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And Norman used the hyper potion. At least you got to that point. 
Oh wait, no, I, I got to that point. Yeah. 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 I the only part that I got lucky with here is that Ho -Oh apparently doesn't have a fire type attack. Of course it doesn't. Well, Jupiter, here's to me hoping that uh you 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 get it. Yeah. Uh I'm so sad my Electabuzz died. Also, I'm annoyed that he literally went into his strongest Pokemon first. Because I still have to deal with the rest of his team after this. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's alive, still alive. My greed. My lust for victory. My pride. Where did it get us? Oh, sissy. You were perhaps the greatest of Pokemon. And you know what, Mal? You were pretty neat, too. I wish I could have seen you become a Flygon. And Shroot, let's not forget about my one starter Pokemon. You know, I'm, I'm real proud of the work you did and the time that you had. And you know, uh, this one goes out to Robin, my HM slave. You did the best you could. No one was really expecting anything from you. And uh, Kecleon, Kate. I hated you. That's why you were on that team, just in case I lost. You were there just to lose or perhaps die for someone else's safety anyway Jupiter how's your how's your fight going well I did beat the Ho-Oh -Oh, but now he's got a level 29 Lanoon well that's fine you're a steel type you're good it is it just killed my ball toy oh why don't it you have your five fury swipes oh well that Okay, that's sucky, but why didn't you have your Jirachi out? I, I, I lost you. What was that? I mean, that's sucky, but why didn't you have your Jirachi out? Uh, Jirachi is at half health after fighting the, um, the Ho-Oh. Oh, well, right, but I mean, like, Lanoon, I mean, he can only do, like, normal t attacks, so, like, I don't know. I guess... I also had a fighting type move on Boltoy. Ah, uh, gotcha. I had Rock Smash, which okay. is weak, but I was hoping to like get some defense drops. I didn't think it would one shot me with landing five Fury swipes and two of them crit. Yeah, that's that's fair. It's a fair yeah, assumption to make. On, back in on Jirachi now because that's my only thing that can take Fury swipes. Yeah, the fifth gym is. Is annoying. Because <sighs> I'm also running out of psychics on Jirachi. Hmm. Is that like your only good move that Jirachi has, or? It has psychic and swift, which swift is okay, but it's just not nearly as good as psychic. Able to deal with the Lanoon. I think he still has one more Pokemon that I haven't seen yet. Ooh, Arbok. That's okay, I can deal with that. I just realized I didn't put Kate away. Whoops. I should have kept Hariyama in in the in the box. What was I thinking? In my hubris, I thought Sissy could accomplish anything. Same. It's uh, it's my fault she's dead. I'm sorry, I, th I, I thought maybe, out of four Pokemon, maybe there'd be one non-flying type or psychic. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong. I thought maybe. 
maybe their first Pokemon you'd be able to fake out, and I, I accidentally hit the A button too soon, and you died because of it. Probably not because yeah. of it. I think when the Rayquaza came out, that, that was probably the reason in which you died. Hey, Mr. Daycare Man. Would you like to take Dino Dan, my gloom? You actually, you know, raise my Tangela. I don't, I don't care about it. I've never liked Tangela as a Pokemon. <sighs> Goodbye. Okay, I made it through Norman. Congratulations, Jupiter. I, I think we should wrap up the video. So. I think, I think that's probably smart. Yeah. Well, um. Oof. I have a question for you. Would you uh, mind terribly asking Asa if he can compose a uh, sad, sad dirge for the those lost in this episode? <laughs> uh, I, I can ask him. I, I could also maybe take a stab at making something. Sure, ab absolutely. Anybody with any amount of talent besides myself is, is probably a good, good choice. <laughs> yeah, no, this was... This was a rough one. Um, I just have to skip through all this dialogue. Yeah. Um, I forget which Pokemon you said you left in the PC. S Swablu. Oh, okay. Because he was kind of worthless. And he, he wouldn't have been able to help in that. Maybe against a Skiploom. Maybe. But that would have been mm -hmm. it. Gosh, um, yeah. I mean, I lost... I lost Electabuzz was one of my best Pokemon and I also lost the Baltoy, which I was excited about. It was getting better. But... <sighs> okay, I'm going to drop them in the box and then I guess we're going to end. Oh, that's where Jabu Jabu was. Oh, wait a second. Um, Electabuzz goes in the box. And ball toy. Oh, no, ball toy. It's in the box. Oof. Okay. I am I'm good to call it if you are. Uh, yeah, I'm just infuriating viewers by making my gloom an HM slave. Uh, so, there's that. Um... Okay. Yeah, just uh well, do what she got to she got to do. Well, I've got one question for the viewers. Um so you you see on one track one one Pokémon who who never did anything wrong. And then you see on another track all of your other worthless Pokémon. The trolley's heading toward that track of worthless Pokémon, but the thing is, more Pokemon will die if you don't bring along the best Pokemon you've ever had. Do you, do, you, do you switch, do you switch the the, the trolley to hit your Hariyama? I mean, I mean your best Pokemon. Or, uh, <laughs> what, what do you do? What, do you, what do you do? Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>